Pardon? It's a good time of year to live in southeastern Arizona. Mm -hmm. I'll say. Still can get some days that are on the hot side, but overall the pattern will start to be cooler and cooler as we make our way into the next month yeah. or so. So right. we're really looking forward to it. We'll be the envy of the nation before too long. Uh, up to 98 today in Tucson. That's three degrees above average for this time of year. Uh, triple digits for Phoenix, Gila Bend, Casa Grande, and check it out, only in about 70 in Flagstaff. Big story today with those gusty winds anywhere out of the southwest. Seems like Marana still one of the stronger ones at 30, but TIA 26, Rita Ranch, down to 12 mile per hour wind gusts. And I think these will die down substantially after sunset. And stop what you're doing. Look at this sunset as we speak. Our Simply Bits camera looking off to the west as that sun is about to go right underneath that horizon. What a good looking evening of weather. 93 degrees skies. Well, they're still sunny for the next several minutes, and then we'll call them clear because the sun won't be out anymore. 51 to dew point, west southwest winds at 17 miles per hour. Across the rest of town, mostly lower 90s in the city of Tucson, upper 80s, so Corona Day Tucson, so looking pretty nice. And how about 76 Sonoida, 79 Sierra Vista, Bisbee 79. That's not so much due to elevation, that has to do a little bit more with some uh, isolated showers we're tracking across southwestern Cochise County. Trend for tonight, we'll bring in those mid 80s by uh, 8 o'clock. I think as we make our way into the 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock hours, those 70s start to show up on the weather map. This should probably be allowed to expire as those winds come down. That blowing dust advisory for southeastern sections of Pinal County that was active until 7 o'clock. This cluster of showers, the reason why we're seeing that cooler weather across southwestern Cochise County. We'll zoom in a couple of showers near the Huachucas and the Sierra Vista area. A couple more maybe trying to work their way into the Patagonias across Santa Cruz County. But all in all, it's a pretty dry day of weather across the region. And really the reason why we've seen the winds today is the courtesy of this area of low pressure carving itself out of the Great Basin. One thing we have to look forward to in September often is trouble in the tropics. Not trouble yet, but this is now... Tropical Storm Norma, located at 135 miles southeast of Socorro Island. Top winds at 45 miles per hour. Here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Looks like in this particular track, it does just miss Cabo San Lucas to the northwest. That would be favorable, obviously, because that's a very populated area. Looks like it makes its way somewhere in mainland Mexico, maybe as far north as Hermosillo, maybe as far south as a couple hundred miles. So that's something we're going to have to watch closely as we make our way into the next several days. So as a result, we'll go breezy tomorrow, mid 90s, mid 90s, mostly sunny all the way through the weekend. And then depending on what Norma decides to do, we could have 20% chance of showers Monday through Wednesday. And a week from today, I have upper 80s for highs and low 60s for lows. There's your fall forecast. Oh, mm -hmm. loving the new lower temperatures. Yeah, I love yeah it. thumbs up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head on over to sports with.